reads Victory Word. Facebook family and friends. This is the day that the Lord has made. So let us rejoice. I say let us rejoice. Let us rejoice. And have glad in it. Let's just, wherever you are today, in our sanctuary or at home, or on your back porch, let's just put your hand up in the air and just say hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. word tradition. As paraphrased in Psalms 100, we come here today, we want to shout joyfully to the Lord. Yes. All ye lands, that means everybody. We want to worship this great king of gladness. Yes. We want to come into his presence with singing. Yes. We want to enter the gates with thanksgiving and the courts with praise. Yes. We want to give thanks today. We want to yes. praise his holy name. For the Lord is good. And his mercy endureth forever. And his faithfulness. His faithfulness is for all generations. And that's something to shout about. Because if he did it then, he'll do it right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So right now, Father, we come to you today and we just like to say thank you. Thank you for your grace and your mercy this morning. Father, just, just thank you for giving us another day. Yes. Thank you for life. Yes. Thank you for protecting us all week yes. that we can come here. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Return here and just give you all the honor and the glory that you do. Father, we like to say thank you. Thank you just for protecting us. Yes, Lord. Thank you for all your provisions because we know that you're still Jehovah Jireh, our provider. Yes. Yes, Lord. Father, just thank you for our friends. Thank you for our families. Thank you for our yes. jobs. Just just thanks for everything. Because we know, Father, that we cannot, we cannot do anything without you. Yes. And we're just so grateful today. Yes, God. But right now, Father, we, in this service, we want to just feel your presence. We want to feel your power. Touch us with your Holy Spirit. Shower down today. Shower down. We want you to anoint the praise.
declares all yes. the praise. Yes. All the glory. Yes. For he is the God that he is. Yes. 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 I said the God that he is. Yes. 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 It will always be. Yes. Hallelujah. My hallelujah belongs to you.
we all took a pledge when we gave our hand, amen, to support this ministry. And first of all, just to be <clears throat> walking in our kingdom as we be obedient um, to what thus saith the Lord. Yes. Um, I just want to encourage you that God loves a cheerful giver and he is pleased by your obedience and he's honored by your faithfulness. And it is through your obedience to operate in faith and not fear that we're able to support this ministry. So continue, continue, continue to walk in your obedience and um, as you prepare for your giving, you can use our website at www.victorywordchurch.org and hit the giving button and you can use your debit card to continue to help in the upbuilding of the kingdom of God and that is via PayPal. You can also make your donations via GiveAfy. And for those who aren't comfortable with either of those options, you can mail your donations to VWC at PO Box 361200 Rose Point, Michigan 48236. We are incredibly, incredibly grateful Amen. to those who give so regularly. Thank you, and may God continue to bless you. Amen. If you need to reach Pastor Michael or myself, Lady T, or so, <clears throat> please give us a call at 313-243-4512. If you have need for a special prayer, please make your prayer request at www.victoryprayerrequest at gmail.com or go to our website www.victorywordchurch.org and hit the prayer request tab and it will go directly to our pastor and we will pray with him for you. <clears throat> our prayers are purposeless. Our Victory Word Church family, Pastor Dion, First Lady, our brother, New Life Ministries Worldwide, the Spiritual Israel Church and its Army, Pastor Romarco and the New Prosperity Baptist Church, Minister April Pittman, Bishop Winter Gardner and family, Pastor Gregory and Lady Smith in the Zion Hill Baptist Church. Pastor James and First Lady Reigns in the Ecclesia Christian Ministry. Pastor Doran and Lady Morton in High Praise Worship Center. Pastor James and First Lady Medic in the Mount Pleasant Missionary Baptist Church. Brother M.J. Oliver, Brother, our Mother Claudia Oliver, and Grandfather Bishop Tillman Oliver, Minister Nubu Clay, Bonnie Brown, Sister Ashley Mack and the Babies. Sister Marsha White, Pastor James Martin and family, in our Victory Word Church located in the country of India, Pastor Daniel Jose and family in our Victory Word Church located in the country of Kenya, Minister Carol Hicks, Minister Steve Donaldson, Sister Millicent Donaldson, Detroit Police and Fire Departments, all of the school systems and students of all levels, first responders and healthcare and essential workers, and a special prayer for the sick, the shut in, and the bereaved. If you have anyone to add to our prison for this list, call the church office at 313-243-4512. Don't forget to go to our Facebook page every Monday for the anointed word of the week. Yes, we are glad you did. And remember, we are living our future now. Hallelujah. 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 Put those blessed hands together because you know what? Method of payment on your envelope, please. Let me get with that. PayPal. We are appreciative. The buckets are on either, ask them on either side to wait to see them at your leisure and sow your seed on to
Lord, we thank you for all those that had the spirit to give, had a desire to give, Lord. We thank you for all those that have sown their seeds into the kingdom. And so, Father, I ask, see, bring me my heart. And it is so. And it is so. In Jesus' name.
I'm continuing. This is the seventh installment of Kingdom Principles. And I'm reading from the message translation. It simply says, you know the next commandment pretty well too. Don't go to bed with another spouse. But don't think you've preserved your virtue simply by staying out of bed. Your heart can be corrupted by lust even quicker than your body. Those leering looks you think nobody notices, they also corrupt. Let's not pretend this is easier than it really is. If you want to live a morally pure life, here's what you have to do. You have to blind your right eye the moment you, you catch it in a lustful leer. You have to choose to live one eye or else be dumped on a moral trash pile. And you have to chop off your right hand the moment you notice it's raised threatening. Better a bloody stump than your entire being discarded for good in the dump. Victor Ward, I want to preach for a few moments today. Just take a little bit of your time for the sermon topic. Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> right. yeah, Fifty Shades of Grey. Uh, everyone knows about the movie, about the, the nuances of relationships and, and, and all of that that goes on in that particular movie. And since I've read the text, I'm like, oh, he's about to get into some, some but I'm not. I'm not, I'm not about to get into your personal isms. But being kingdom citizens, I do have a thought for you to look at some things from a different perspective. All of us know right from wrong. We know what to do and not to do and all of those things. But I want to dig deeper into the text and not just look at it, what it says from the surface. Because it says, you know the next commandment pretty well. Don't go to bed with another spouse. But don't think you preserve your virtue simply, preserve your virtue simply by staying out of bed. Your heart can be corrupted by lust even quicker than your body. Point number one. Whatever is in your mind may not manifest in your actions, but it does change your behavior. Okay. And your behavior eventually will change your character. Mm, all right. You and I have to realize and remember this. Just because you don't do it, whatever it is, the more and more that it's in your mind, it starts to change who you are. All right, all right. So when you decide to do other things for other people, trying to please people, trying to be the best this or the best that, and the more and more you try to be that and you lose who you are, you start changing your character. And then your character starts changing how you even deal with things. What do you right. mean, Pastor? Yeah. Right. As long as you continue to allow other people to dictate how you look at things, your whole perspective on that thing that you're looking at will change. Come on, come on. Come on. Right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Right. The scriptures, is, is Jesus is, this is part of the sermon that I've been preaching, the Sermon on the Mount. This is the next installment. And he says, or he is letting them know, that it's not so much what you do, especially us church folk going, we know how to act in public. But the question is, do you know how to react with your thoughts when you deal with something that you're not ready for? Wow. All right. All right. There's a lot of things that's going to come upon you that's going to come your way. I wish I had just two people in here that could say amen, amen. that knows that I've been going through what I'm not through going, but someday I get tired of going. All right. All right. Come amen. on. Amen. Come on. Amen. And I'm here to tell you, you have to guard, guard, guard your thoughts. Yes, yes, yes. Number two, remember when in class write down these notes? <laughs> Be careful with thoughts you entertain. Wow. Yes. Because sooner or later they become your reality. Mm. <laughs> if you continue to think you broke, you this, you're that, I'm fat, I'm this, I'm <laughs> ugly, I'm this, I don't, the more and more you think on those things, sooner or later that's what you're going to manifest. That's going to be your reality. 
You all know it. We talk to people on a regular basis. You say, how you doing? Oh, I'm barely making it. You're only going to barely make it, too. That's right. That's right. That's right. Because you continue to speak those things. That, oh, it's killing me. Yes, it's going to kill me. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Oh, my back is killing me. Yeah, it may be hurt, but it ain't killing me. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. There are so many things that we have to get under uh, a clearer understanding with our everyday living based upon us being what? Kingdom yes. citizens, not just churchmen. Right. Right. right, right. Church people have been going to church forever, and most church people are worse off than we call street people. Right. My, my, right. My, my, Amen. My, Why? Because my, they my, give my. us the facade of them knowing God, but the scripture tells me that they have a form of God. Are you Come just on. tired Jeez, of forms? Jeez. Right. Jeez. Amen. Jeez. Amen. Can we just be real? Yes, yes. yes. Can we just be real and, and, and say it's okay to <laughs> laugh? It's okay to dance? It's okay to do other things without everybody saying, oh, why are you doing that? Right. Or who, oh, you, I thought you went to church. Yes. I thought people yes. have got the whole thing mixed up trying to tell kingdom citizens how to live in a kingdom that they don't even belong Woo! to. Right, right. Right. Watch Amen. it. Watch Amen. it. <laughs> we all get tired of people telling us kingdom folks how to live and they don't even serve the king. Right, all right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. They're not even a citizen. They're not even a part of the, of the commonwealth that we belong to. Right. So stop trying to prove to people that you are a part of the commonwealth. <laughs> Because they will not understand. No, they That's won't. Right. No, they That's won't. Right. <laughs> oh, you sipping a little wine? Mm -hmm. I thought you were a church person. <laughs> well, you don't sip anything, and you have lust in your heart. Wow. Right. Come, on. Come, on. Come on. Come on. Be careful with people who don't do nothing. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Be very careful with people who don't do anything but shout holy, holy. That's what the angels is for. That's their job to shout holy, holy, holy. Right, holy. right. Victory word. Our, our slogan is we are living our future now. Stop waiting on it and start living in it. That's right. All right. That's right. All right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. Let's not pretend. This is easier than it really is. If you want to live a morally pure life, here's what you have to do. You have to blind your right eye the moment you catch it in a lustful uh, uh Corruption is based on how you think, not just what you do. Right. Hmm. The scripture tells me that so a man thinking, so is he. Be careful running around listening to people telling you this is not right. You doing this, doing that. Because the very person that's telling you this, you need to check their record. Mm. Come on now. Mm. Come on. It's easy for me to tell you, you should do this, that, and the other. It's easy for me to tell you to trust God, and I've got money in the bank, every bill is right. paid, Come all on. of that. Come on. Come it's on. easy for me to tell you that, but can you still say that when you're struggling? Right. right. Come on. Right. <laughs> See, we look at corruption as so much physical things, but we don't never think about the corruption that goes on in our mental capacity. That's right, right, right. 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 Starts there. Yes. Amen. Be careful on what you allow your eyes to focus on and your ears to listen to because your sight can limit your vision. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. And listening to negative vibrations can dull your hearing. Let me know right. come, come, come on, come on. So when you hear people complaining all the time, all the time, all the time, nothing is good, nothing is right, and that vibration continues to hit you, you got to be careful because you will dull your hearing when God is trying to show you something. Mm -hmm. And so what the enemy does in this day and season, he gets you so busy that you can't even hear God. That's right. That's right. 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 Oh, I got to do this. I got to do that. Most of, some of us right now thinking about what we got to do when we leave here. <laughs> well. I got to do this. Oh, I have to do that. Oh, I have to. No. Mm -hmm. You have to continue to learn how to live in the moment. Right. 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 Take the moment. The moments that God gives you, mm -hmm. don't take them for granted. Mm -hmm. it, is, it is necessary for us to be thankful that we, 
you can be driving along and then all of a sudden the, uh, it's so much traffic everywhere mm. and now you're stuck in traffic and uh, you say Lord I thank you for this quiet moment that I'm stuck <laughs> in come, come on now come on come you know, on if it had not been for you I wouldn't even be in this moment <laughs> yes. right now instead of getting mad yes <laughs> yes yes start being more thankful yes. we were coming home from the airport the other night and we were coming down 94 and I saw the, well, the traffic was just had stopped. I'm like, well, what's, what's fun? Right. It's in the evening time. Usually, right, right. And trucks were lined up. Mm -hmm. I mean, just lined I had mm -hmm. never mm -hmm. seen mm -hmm. so many trucks right. in a standstill. Little did I know that they had a, a border. They were having a disagreement on a contract, mm -hmm. and so they shut the border down. They didn't shut it down. But they said that they went by the letter of the law. Everything they asked every truck driver, <laughs> every question <laughs> that they were supposed, yeah, and you know that can take forever. So yeah, there was did. a line of cars almost from Michigan Avenue yes, yes. and 94 all the way to the bridge. Yes. And the drivers, they interviewed some of them, and they said, there was no need for me to get upset because there was nothing I could do. Uh, oh, uh, 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 there are some things on, that God makes you stand still. Yes. You might as well yes. praise and yes. worship Him yes. because there's yes. nothing yes. you yes. can do. Right. Yes. Come on yes. now. Yes. Come on. Yes. What? Right. There's some things that happens in your life you don't have control over. Control. So when you right. stand there and just That's praise, right. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. right, Lord, I thank you. Right. Even even though this situation I don't have control over, Father, you have the control. And since I'm a kingdom citizen, you got to take care of it. Right. That's what we have to get to, Victor Royal. We have to get to a point where we trust God enough to take our hands off of it. Right. Amen. 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 Yes, God. In this text, it's talking about lust. But we're reading it from the English translation of what lust is. And we base our thinking and all of our thought process is based on what we've been taught that it means. So I went deeper than that and said, well, let's see what it's in the original language, in the Hebrew and in the Greek. So it says, what does the word lust mean in Hebrew? It's called, the word is C-H-A-M-U-D. I don't want to, I don't want to uh, tear that word up, so I'm going to just <laughs> But the, the definition is to delight me. To delight me. Mm -hmm. And then there's another word, N E P H E S H, which means life, breathe, soul, and wind. And this word is translated into soul 475 times. Its basic meanings refer to the essence of life or the act of breathing. The best biblical definition is found in Psalms 103. It's defined as all that is within a person. In other words, then David says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. So now the word has been not used in a negative, but in a positive form. So it goes on to say, the, uh, the Greek meaning is another word called E-P-I-T-H-U-M-E-O. And it means to long for. This word is made of two separate words. E-P-I, which is a pond, and T-H-U-M-O-S, which means passion. <laughs> the word stresses the longing, the craving, lust or desire for what is forbidden or evil. However, it can be used in a good sense. For example, it is used for the Lord's wish, the Lord's wish concerning the last Passover in Luke 22 and 15. Paul's desire to be with Christ in Philippians 1, 23. Paul's desire to see the saints at Thessalonica. Again, 1 Thessalonians 2, 17. This is the point. Don't limit God's word to your understanding of the English language. And don't limit your future blessings 
based on your limited understanding of your today situations, wow. circumstances, wow. and challenges. Wow. Because your life isn't as black and white as you think it is or it should be. Right. There are some shades of gray. Right. <laughs> yes, yes. There are some shades of gray that God is using in this season that defies your common sense and has you praying more, yes. praising more, seeking him more, worshiping him more, and complaining less. All right, yes. 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 Complaining right. less. So when you decide to cut off what, con what continues to hinder you, because in this text it says you have to choose to live one eye or else be dumped on a world trash pile. And you have to chop off your right hand. The moment you notice it raised threateningly. Better a bloody stump than your entire being discarded for good in the dump. Don't, or excuse me, when you decide to cut, this is an important piece. When you decide to cut off what continues to hinder your progress, what haunts you in your dreams, and wakes you in a tumultuous sweat at night, and strangles your desire to even try to make it, I want you to remember one thing. I want you to remember just this one thing. The blood still works. Yes, yes. Right, right. Amen. It will never lose it's power. Right. Yes. The blood still works. Yes, yes, yes. We sing a song that says, Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yeah, mm -hmm. tis done. Mm -hmm. I believe on the Son. I am saved mm -hmm. by the blood of the crucified one. Then it goes on and says, Just yes. praise yes. his name. Yes. Okay, this is where we can have church. Okay. Can you praise his name when you are down and out in your own spiritual degradation of, of just stuff? <laughs> praise his name. Right. Why? Because the blood still works. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Amen. You All have right. to praise him when yes. things look so heavy, so you can't see it. But you have to understand that God specializes because right. what? The blood, blood still, still works. works. Yes. Even yes. when I get a bad report from the doctor, the blood still works. Yes. Even yes. when situations and circumstances are not going too great at the job, the blood still yes. works. Yes. Even yes. when yes. I am upset with my own self, when right. I keep getting in my own way, Wait. I have to realize the blood still yes. works. Yes. Even yes. when I've got yes. tears in my eyes, yes. pain in my body, I don't know what I'm going to do. The blood, blood still, still works. works. Yes, still God. Works. Amen. Amen. If you believe in the Son, praise his name. Remember, you are saved by the blood of the Lamb that flows from Emmanuel's bank. There's a song that says, there is, there is a fountain filled with blood that flows from Emmanuel's vein. E Emmanuel, God with us. Right, right. Have you ever known God to leave his people just to leave them alone? The Bible says that he won't leave me nor forsake me. Why? Because the blood still works. Yeah. I wish I had this come on, come on. That come understands on. that come no on. matter what you are going through, the blood still, still works. works. Yes, yes. And even though there's some gray areas in your life, God uses those gray areas to carry, to show you that don't trust in your own gifts, trust in me. Right. All right. All right. You and I have to learn to trust in him. Yes. Right. Through all of our ups, our yes. downs, yes. our situations, yes. our circumstances, what we can see, what we can't yes. see, what we got tears in our eyes and even a smile on our face, yes. we still have to understand this one thing, even though the shades of gray are there, the blood seal works. Yes, God. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. All right. Amen. There's going to be some things that you're not sure of, but be sure that the blood still works. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it will never, mm -hmm. never, mm -hmm. never lose its power. Yes. Right. Amen. 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 You can give God a hand. Amen. 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 If 
there's one that is watching by way of social media today and would like to just give their life back to Christ, just pray the simple prayer with me. Lord, I am a sinner, but I want to be a part of your family once again. I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. And Father, I want to be a mirror image of you in the earth. And if you prayed that simple prayer, that's all it took for you to be part of God's family once again. And if there's one that would like to be a part of this ministry, the Victory Word Church, a place that is a judgment-free zone where we don't even beat you up. We pick you up. We watch God do what? Lift you down. Yes, God. And we don't ask you to walk down the aisle doing those things. All you have to do is see one of our members, and they'll be able to take you in. Amen. 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 And if you're at home, all you have to do is call our church office at 313-243-4512. Leave a message. We'll call you back. Yes, and you'll be glad that yes, you did. Yes, and you yes. can be a part of this fellowship. Amen. 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 Well, it's been another good day to have what? A God day. Thank God. Give God a big, great big hand. Praise one more time. Come on. Come on. Give it to a big word. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. We're going home. Yes. Look forward to seeing you next Sunday. Right back here at Victory Word Church, where we are living our future now. Yes. Yeah. Yes.